I'm live every single day at twitch.tv slash catevolved. See you guys there. All right, this game versus a victor in the mid lane. D shield start. If I don't go D shield, he just kind of pokes me out. We can assume he's going to go... He has Aerie. And if you guys don't know, Scorch was recently buffed. It's 12.16 uh, right now. I don't know if it was buffed this patch or if it was buffed in 12.15. I'm, I'm unsure, but uh, regardless, it's more damage and it's only a 10 second cooldown. So, um, Airy plus Scorch is a pretty good combination for a lot of mages nowadays, especially like Victor into the Katarina matchup. So, pretty much, he has a lot of poke. So, D Shield is very necessary. If we don't have D Shield, we're going to be half health by the time we hit level 2, even after using all our potions. So, very, very rough. Um, also,. Yeah, he probably didn't go Time Warp, but we can assume maybe he went like Biscuit Boots or something secondary. We know he didn't go Time Warp because he went E-Ring Start. Wouldn't make sense. But uh, yeah, I have a standard Electrocute setup. I've been running Electrocute a lot more in my counter games. Just because I think the meta has kind of shifted into like more battle, which is good. At least I've seen it in a lot of my games. I've been able to just like force fights somewhere and my teammates follow. In the audio for you guys. I have to miss all the CS early on. It's Victor. My rule is iron. My rule is I mean, it is what it is. I shouldn't have walked up. I missed my Q on the CS anyways there. Just take the L in the early game. Your cat versus Victor. First Somehow my top laner solo kill level 1. Playing Orn versus Sion. I think that E hit me, but sure, right? Not bad damage on him. So I think we do out sustain. He does have biscuits, like I said, so have to keep that in mind. We're up here. Vi is probably going to look to invade top side since she saw Zed bot side. I should go ahead and use a potion here. We nice. You see the Vi. Oh, my Zed is a failure. Alright, well, we got all those sums. That's honestly fine. Bad. I have to reset here. I just get a Dark Seal refill and a Control Ward. I'm not going to swap to a Sweeper just yet. It's not necessary. But that's pretty good. Uh, Victor missed a decent amount of farm. We got his Flash. We got the Jungle Flash just for both my sums. Honestly, not bad at all. Uh, so something to keep in mind this game for later on. They do have Double Exhaust and they do have Tark ulti. And then they also have Vi ult. So they have a decent amount of CC. And if they have any amount of brain power whatsoever... Their Vi will only ever ult me. There's no way he's ever going to be able to ult Zed because Zed, uh, Zed can just ult the Vi and cancel it and put it on cooldown. So the Vi is only ever going to ult me or the Seraphine, but mostly me because I'm going to be going in. And if she's going to ult the Seraphine, she's probably just going to get killed herself because, well, she's ulting the Seraphine. who's going to be behind our Nautilus or our Orn all game. So pretty much, I'm the only target for Vi ulti during team fights and skirmishes. So that's fun. Can't wait for that. Definitely will make the game a little bit hard for me. Right, I can't really assist here. Nice. Get that shoved in. Yeah, not much I can really do there. Victor's looking to hold this wave. I mean, Tark's just sitting here. My Zed wants to reset. Oh. Can't. Place the pink there. Hopefully, Tark doesn't come clear it. Tark my let's on him. I don't know if that was worth it. Alright. Q? 
huge. Absolutely huge. And I think I will just reset for this and this. I've actually come to... So I used to always shit talk alternator, right? And don't get me wrong, I still don't think it's the best option. Always, right? It's just with that amount of gold I had, what am I going to buy there? I could I could go for... Uh, blasting Wand, Amptome Boots. I could go for... Uh, just Sword Shoes and nothing else. Or I could go Alternator and Boots. So, I would just think this is like better in this scenario. Just because I get that extra health so I can into the tower like that, huh? But decent amount of damage, works really well with electrocute and sun impact. Allows you to like achieve your goal of just bursting, right? The only downside is you just don't have enough AP to one shot the wave. That's why a lot of Katarina players, including myself, opt in for blasting one amp tome on that kind of reset. Because you're able to just one shot the wave at that point with double dagger. Whereas with this, I can't. I might be able to actually, because I do have four stacks on a Dark Seal with two stacks on Eyeball. 320. Eh, almost enough. We're almost there. We're, we're six damage behind. If you guys don't know, pro tip for uh, Katarina. To build a... if you The way you want to no do your math here, the, the way to know if you're able to one-shot the wave or not, is you just check the caster minion health, the max health, 320. Now you look at your dagger and you just double that. So, obviously, 158 or 154 uh, times 2 is, well, not 320. It is, it is definitely not. It's only 308. So, we're almost there. But not enough AP. If we get one more kill, we'll have enough probably. But now we're not there. I'm on my way. Alright. To catch my wave here. So long as I win. Victor missing right now. I'm just gonna shove this wave and then look to walk bot side. And on this reset, this next reset, I, I'm gonna purchase sword shoes here just to allow me to roam more. And my trade patterns will be a little better. I'll be a little bit faster and yeah, a little bit faster, do a little bit more damage. Just base here. Could also maybe go for blasting one, but hmm. Uh, maybe blasting is actually better. More AP. I have 118 now. So yeah, now we definitely one shot the casters, right? Yeah, 328 <laughs> times 192 by two. Definitely, we're over killing the casters at this point. I think we were already one shotting, even if we went sword shoots, because we had enough AP. Also, my dagger uh, damage increased by level, so. But it's still gracious to They're probably gonna look to play topside with Harold here. There's no path up here right now. Literally. It sounds inting, nice. So Victor has flash, he's gonna have exhaust up shortly as well. If you guys don't know how the Victor matchup works, let me explain it again. I don't really get to kill him ever. 1v1, Katarina vs Victor. Chances are you're not going to find a solo kill. Maybe you will in lower elos, but against like a competent player that knows how his champion works and knows how your champion works, realistically, you're not going to be getting any solo kills. Uh, there's a world where this works. And that world is uh, not this one, apparently. Okay, Grump. I like how Victor was just sitting in Tribush. Up another potion here. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, the Victor can kind of just like outrange me. Huge.
a weapon, and I do love a weapon. Say hello to my little gems. Funny quote. Well, by 100% flash there, right? I don't think that was her Q. I'm pretty sure that was her flash. Uh, now I just get my reset off here. Um, obviously, it's not really worth it to buy slur shoes here. We already have enough gold for our rocket belt, so let's just purchase this. Might as well. Buy control ward as well. And we're looking like we're in a really good spot here. 159 AP. Have a rocket belt finished. Turn to Herald top. I'm literally just on a path here from base. Victor's gonna go for plates, which kind of sucks, but they realistically should herald this. They might not, though. I guess they won't. Maybe because uh, the Vi was predicting that would roam up there. Think here. Victor has flash. Dead mines. It's no exhaust, right? Oh, I'm not mean to hit R there. Oh, very good dodge. Okay, well, yeah, didn't mean to hit R. I don't know what that was. Very weird uh, play by them, actually. Pro, my Nautilus. What a demon. He just didn't want the cannon. Alright, I got a dip. Okay, you guys kind of got a little bit rolled there. Don't think I could help with the sound there. Yeah, he's full HP. Oh, how'd that not hit me? Alright. Am I dead? Yo, that's actually kind of worth. Like, you can call me stupid and all. That was pretty stupid. Okay, I made a really good play. I pushed my limits. But realistically, that was the best person to give my shutdown to. 1k gold? I guess maybe Targ would have been better. No, actually, not even. Like, Targ would have been worse to give it to. That was the best case scenario for my shutdown. So, I'm happy. Mistake, but it was a good mistake. A great queen needs to so it was, uh, it was, it was intended, I'm gonna say. My editor can just cut that part out. Where I was talking about how like it was a mistake. Because it was a mistake. I mean that was perfectly planned out. Gonna head top side here. But yeah, we got our sword shoes now. We got more AP. We're getting closer to our Nasher's tooth. All right, my champion doesn't really do damage. This guy is Sunfire. We're not killing him. Once again, very good. 
We're doing well here. I think instead of Nashers, I legitimately go Void Staff next. I think that might be the best move. The best best possible uh, build path here. This guy has so much MR and so does the Vi. This guy's getting Sunfire as well. One of them exhausted me there, so that's good. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god, our team comp is so fun. Alright. I got my full void sap. I don't think there's any. That's pretty unlucky. How was he tanking? I swear I was tanking. I guess my bad. Alright, void sap. I guess in a normal, like a real game where we aren't like this ahead, this would be the worst buy ever because, I mean, Katarina without Nash's tooth does nothing. Interesting. That Victor does a lot of damage for not really having any items. I got hurt. I also don't have any tenacity, so I just got stunned in his gravity field for a year. Nice so little sound probably dies. Huge. I just wait in base until I get my amp tome here. But yeah, Nasher's next item is probably a must. Or even just Sonya's, dude. My favorite part of ruling is the execution. But uh, at least we might be doing some damage now to the Sound and the Vi, and I guess the Tarek. But yeah, my idea for just like not getting Nash's Tooth is like one, yes, their top side has a decent amount of MR and so does their support. And on top of that, it's like realistically. A lot of people might think like, oh, well, yeah, just go Nashers, ignore the, the tanks, right? Like, yes, of course, that's also a, a, an option. It's just to ignore the tanks, go Nashers, and just go for the Victor and the Talia. But the problem is, they both have double exhaust and double crown, so realistically, I'm not even going to be doing too much damage to them in a team fight. Like, initially in the team fight, I have to proc their stuff first before I go in, or at least let someone proc it first. And then, yeah, double exhaust, which is... Probably, like, they're always going to have an exhaust available, you know? Most likely. Holy shit, it's the Baos. He did the thing. He's shilling right now. Oh my god. Oh yeah, low-key, I kind of want to fight here. It's okay. We see them all. Our Zed's gonna own this guy. Yes, man. Creep block me so I can't grab the ward.
got stunned. Haha. <laughs> I rocky belled to get stunned by her E. Well, one of them exhausted me again. Let's go. Not a bad game. Not too shabby. Victory. Yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it. Oh, plus 12. Wow, that's really good. Nice. My MMR is so good right now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like below. Leave a comment. I would appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.